Assalamu alaikum dear all. We welcome you to the first episode of Elephant Stella. I'm Sumaya Sabir along with my fellows Malaika Zafar. Assalamu alaikum everyone. And Krista Han. Assalamu alaikum everyone. The topic we have decided for today's discussion is the soul of Ramadan. This topic is highly time appropriate. As you all are now in the month of Ramadan and all of us have been blessed to be present in this holy month. We wish for all our spectators to have a happy, fruitful, and healthy Ramadan. Let's pray together to the Almighty Allah to make this month a witness in favor of each and every one of us. Amin ya Amin ya You know girls, Ramadan is the ninth month of Islamic calendar, which lasts for 29 to 30 days. And we fast in this month. Fasting is the fourth pillar of Islam. Also, do you guys know about the night of power? Also referred as Lailat of Qad, falls within the following ten days of Ramadan. It is believed to be the night in which the first verses of Quran ayahs were revealed on the Prophet as guidance for all the mankind. It is also known as the night in which our faith is decided for the following year. As such, it is a time to reflect and repent on our sins and ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and forgiveness. So it's a special month for so many reasons. Yeah. So why do we fast in this blessed month of Ramadan? To find the answer of this question, let's look at the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 183. The last two words are Allah kum tatakum. And here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to say that we increase our taqwa by fasting during Ramadan. But, what is taqwa? And how do we have taqwa? Taqwa is when we refrain from doing any bad thing. So how can fasting increase our taqwa and protect us from doing any bad thing? Well, fasting helps us learn self-control or self-discipline. For instance, when we fast, we feel the hunger and our stomach desires to have the food. But we control ourselves and our mind orders our stomach to wait and not to eat from dawn till dusk. Since fasting is the practice of becoming a tate. Yeah, right. Along with that, fasting gives us an opportunity to reflect on those who are less fortunate. Yes, fasting helps us to feel the pain of needy people who are deprived of food and need of help. That is all of Ramadan. Exactly. I would like to say that during 30 days of this last month, when we try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our ibadah and by avoiding sinful acts, our taqwa grows stronger and stronger. And to make it easy for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts shaitan, our biggest enemy, in chains and locks him up so that we can train ourselves to do good deeds and stay away from bad deeds. And we, and we can become a good person in Ramadan and we can remain being the same person in the remaining months of the year also. Inshallah. Inshallah. I believe Ramadan is not all about giving up on your food or staying hungry. Ramadan is a time to reflect on our faith, to read Quran, to pray, or to perform generous acts such as donating money or helping those who are in need. As our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has guided us to do so. Also, we should avoid being angry, saying bad words, hurting Allah, and wasting our time. We must do as many good deeds as possible to make the most of this for even. And if we do this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will become happy with us and will give us a lot of reward. May Allah help us all in this. Amen. Let me 